Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can integrate Stripe 3D SCA into your website. So SCA means strong customer authentication. There are people who are using uh, Stripe from long time, but nowadays they need to upgrade their uh, payment gateway into 3D Secure. So I think this is quite simple, uh, but there are people who are suffering uh, problems because they are not much familiar with this. So I think that in this video, I will be providing you uh, the complete information uh, step by step. So you have to follow those steps and definitely you will able to uh, integrate it uh, into your website and you have no need to hire a developer for uh, doing this. So let me show you how you can integrate into your website. So, so first of all, you have to search here Stripe SCA checkout. Here you will be getting strong customer authentication. You have to click over it. Then here is some documentation. And in this video, we are going to integrate only uh, one time integration means one time payments uh, would be done. This would not be recurring. So in the next video, I will be show you how you can integrate the recurring payment uh, gateway. So there are two ways use a pre-built uh, checkout page and build a custom uh, payment flow. So the uh, Stripe is also providing a pre-built checkout page. Uh, I have already implemented this. I will be providing you the link into the de description. So you if you want this uh, type of integration, then you can follow that link and uh, uh, you will get to know that how you can do that. But uh, in this video, I will be implementing build a custom payment flow. So I will be clicking on it. And then uh, here is uh, the gui uh, guide. So uh, there are multiple ways to implement. First of all, uh, you can also uh, take the clone from the GitHub, but I am not going to do that. And uh, you have first, the first step is to get the Stripe PHP. So uh, if you have the composer installed, then you can uh, use this command into your terminal. Otherwise, uh, you can uh, do this. This is the link. So once you will be copying this and paste it over here and you have to download this. This is important one, right? So there are multiple releases. Uh, one of the uh, uh, among all these, you have to choose one and just download. All right. I have already downloaded. So next step is create a payment intent. So let me show you my file I have already created a folder one time in that I have already downloaded stripe dash PHP and then I have uh, one file index dot PHP so I'm going to open it in my visual studio code editor and again you have to go and copy here copy from here I'm going to implement PHP later I will be implementing in all other technologies but for now, I'm going to copy this code from here and going to paste it over here. I am going to paste it over here. Then after the third step is HTML plus JavaScript. So here I have this head tag. What I gonna do is I'm going to create a simple structure of HTML and I'm going to remove for a moment and going to paste the head. Then after I have to copy this script from here and I gonna po paste it here. Then after I have the form over here, I'm going to copy from here and then paste it over here. Then after I have client.js, so this is the 
javascript that i also need to paste over here this actually uh, helps us to generate the element i mean where we will be entering our card details then after we have this card dot event listener add event listener i am going to copy this and again going to paste it over here then after in the fourth step i will be copying this specific code from here and again paste over here then after uh, this is all right and now this is not complete one actually i have needed client secret so you know that in the intent we will be getting client secret so how we can use that let me show you so here is the client secret i am going to create a variable here client secret equal to inside the double quotes i will be writing here echo dollar intent and inside of it i will be writing client secret so here is once our payment would be succeeded then we will be uh, getting an alert message of payment successful so finally uh, we got all the code which uh, which we had required uh, to do the payment so yeah one more thing we have to do which is we have to include that stripe dash ph php folder so what we are going to do is require once and inside the double quote we will be getting stripe dash php and inside of it we have init dot php so this is important file which will be including everything from inside of these folders so actually here is init.php which i have included right now so let's test this code so i am going to my uh, browser and here i have my dashboard so i have already clicked payments so here is nothing up till now so let me run the code so i have localhost gateways and inside the gateways i have one time let's see what's the error style is not defined so let's define the style as well actually we had the style here this one we gonna paste it over here here we are going to paste and then again i am going to run this so you can see that now this is the card number that we will be entering over here then month year and cvc so i will be having some test card numbers from here 
so here is the one I'm going to copy this and going to paste it over here and then I am going to uh, this is actually CVC and uh, this one is uh, pin code so now once you will be clicking over here you will be getting a pop-up this is actually the authentication pop-up yeah this one and uh, you have to click on complete authentication Finally, you will uh, get the message that payment successful. So, okay. And uh, I'm going to check my dashboard over here. So again, I'm going to refresh this. So you can see that here is the payment that uh, has been uh, done just now. So you can see the time as well. And you can also get all the information from inside. And this customer name is over here let me show you all the details are over here for example uh, payment methods uh, id card number ending with fingerprint expire type of card 3d secure authentication and here is the zip check and cvc check this is passed right so everything is over here so here uh, they have also given some uh, details that how your process has been processed and here is the JSON file this is actually status is succeeded so it means that everything uh, goes fine so here is Jenny Rosen so this was the name of the customer you can see on to over here so this is the customer name Jenny Rosen so in this way you can actually integrate into your uh, own system so i think this is quite easier uh, to integrate it so you can also see that all the details are over here so if you are facing any uh, problem then let me know i will be helping you out so i think that this is quite easier for you uh, to implement and uh, if you have needed code then let me know i will be sharing with you so uh, uh, in the next video i will be doing uh, recurring payment uh, for example you wanted to save the payment details of the customer so that you could uh, uh, do the payment for the next time uh, from the customer so at that time uh, there is the different way to integrate it so i will be showing you in the next video so see you in the next video